Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we have an update to the running back tier list. I'll be honest, this video wasn't really as needed as I thought. I, you know, I got all the new cards, looked at them, and there wasn't as many as I thought over the last month. We haven't really got that many running backs since, you know, the Derrick Henry, Drew Archer, Saquon Barkley kind of zero chill mix there. Through playoffs, um, obviously, I think I even had the cover athlete cards already on here, but my opinions have changed on some of these cards. Um, I do believe there is a new king at running back right now in this game, and there, of course, is some other new running backs that have come out. Uh, before we get started, if you are in the 50% of people who watch the videos and are not subscribed, let's change that right now. Head down there, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and also while you're down there, you know, that like button's right there. You might as well just, you know, kind of touch that up real quick. Um, the shout out for today's video goes to my man Cash Money Gomez for commenting his, who his favorite card from the playoff part three drop was. And if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, Comment who your current running back is right now on your ultimate team. Okay, first name we're looking at today is Isaiah Pacheco. Unfortunately, he doesn't have his own running animation in Madden. If he did, he probably would be number one. No one runs as angry and pissed off at the ground or the turf like he does. 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 96 juke move, 89 COD, which you don't really feel too much when you're using this card. 94 break tackle, 86 catching, and 82 short routing. So a good mix. I think 215, 510 is a good weight and height. Um, I like, you know, obviously the smaller backs are good for getting through the smaller holes. There's pros and cons to a bigger back and a smaller back. I don't think there's really one better than the other this year. Uh, both can be as equally as frustrating to face depending on what kind of run plays you run and things like that, what kind of fits your scheme. But also having, a, you know, good pass catch mix. Also, if you need the truck and, and get three yards or a yard and fall forward at 215 with 92 trucking, even almost 80 strength, it's going to be good enough. Um, not, not my one gripe with this card is the 2AP evasive. I don't care about a, a spin move this year, so evasive, it actually hurts this card a good amount. Um, RB Apprentice is fine if you don't need a jukebox or you want to run RB Apprentice. This doesn't, this is not a problem for you, but I would much rather have a 1 AP jukebox on Isaiah Pacheco. And of course, no special X factors also do not help the card either because to me, those cards just will be better. Um, I'm going to put Isaiah Pacheco up here at S tier. Derrick Henry is still better, um, mainly because of the X factor. And um, I, I would say, even if you want to invest, if you didn't want to invest AP into, you know, making Derrick Henry so good, but it only costs you zero AP to actually run Derrick Henry with all his abilities um, that, that you would probably use. So yeah, Derrick Henry is better than Pacheco still, but Pacheco definitely a good option with either a playoff team or a Chiefs team. team. And next up, we got Ladanian Tomlinson. And while I record this right now, this card isn't special. You know, even when he, even when stamina is still a thing in this game, the Energizer AKA ability is just stupid because it's, it's a tier one ability turned into an X factor. Normally they turn a tier three ability and make it an X factor. Say if it was human joystick or I don't know, RB apprentice or something like that. They usually would make it an X factor. They decided to make it Energizer. And right now stamina is unlimited. So it doesn't matter. Energizer doesn't matter at all. Now you've unlimited stamina, every single run, every touch that could change soon. Who knows? Probably could happen any day at this point. I think they're waiting for next title update low key to fix it and change it back but energizer lt stats are cool 95 speed good acceleration good cod can catch passes all that good stuff um but to me you know he's pretty similar to isaiah pacheco really for very similar cards they play the same uh pretty much 215 510 you know a little, a little, pacheco's got a little more power uh, lt's the better pass catcher route runner kind of thing so they're pretty close it kind of comes down to preference um, but honestly, no, it doesn't. I would probably actually lean LT because LT does get the one AP jukebox, which I think is better than getting two AP evasive. If you don't feel that way, maybe switch them. You know what I mean? If you like evasive for some reason, then switch up. But I think that does make a difference on, on these two cards. And next up, we got James Cook. Him and Isaiah Pacheco are heavily debated who is better. Um, I'm going to answer that question right now for you. I believe Isaiah Pacheco is actually better. However, there's an asterisk here. I think I think if you strip down the cards from abilities, I think Pacheco plays better, he feels better, runs more physical, falls forward more often, he just feels better. And the pass catching stats, although Cook is better, you don't really tell the difference on a running back. It's not like it's anything crazy, right? You still have guys with like Bo Jackson being elite pass catchers in this game as long as you have gift wrap. So it doesn't really matter too much. But I will say the reason why I would maybe lean James Cook is because again, the one AP jukebox, but two if you backfield masters. I, I think I think RB Apprentice is better than backfield master. I think jukebox is better than evasive. And I think jukebox, having jukebox on a running back is way more important. So I'm going to put James Cook and Isaiah Pacheco right next to each other. 
But if for whatever reason in your offense, you're not able to say run, you don't have enough room to run a jukebox, I would go Pacheco. If you have enough room for a jukebox or you like jukebox running backs, I would go James Cook. That's the way I look at it. Um, and even though LT's, you know, I, no, I would probably still say LT just because LT is pretty much Pacheco, like weight wise and build wise, but does get the 180 jukebox. So these two running backs are very, very similar. Obviously, if you, if you have a playoff team, you go one of these two guys. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Yeah, let, let's uh, let's stick with that. Next up, we got the free Jonathan Taylor. This card is actually pretty solid. 5'10", 226. Does remind me a little bit of the Pacheco card. Um, pretty similar, but 95 juke move, 89 COD, 89 break tackle, which is kind of interesting for Jonathan Taylor. 88 carrying on JT as well is also pretty disrespectful. Again, it's a free card, so it is what it is. 91 trucking, uh, 89 surrounding is also pretty good. And for his discount abilities, it's going to be a print. This card is free. You cannot get this card anymore if you don't, if you didn't watch the EA live streams, unfortunately. If you didn't miss those, it is what it is. You cannot get this card. But uh, Jonathan Taylor, he does play well. His cards always do. I'm going to put Pacheco up here in between Bijan Robinson and Peyton Hillis. Um, I think Bijan still has the cake because Bijan does get the freight train ability. Obviously, his stats are starting to go down a little bit, but does still get the freight train AK, which is still very, very good. And this card is also really nice still. I'm Jonathan Taylor. I'll be Apprentice. No discounted jukebox. People might say you're overvaluing jukebox. I don't think I am. Jukebox is that good. I also, uh, you also might say I'm overvaluing abilities on running backs. No, they're also very broken. Be able to get the guy in a, be able to get the the ball in the guy's hands which, by just hitting him the ball off instead of passing the ball, is just insane. Like just just be able to get the X factor, the free broken tackles, everything anything that's guaranteed is just broken in this game. Getting rid of the RNG, it's nasty. So that's why I value the X factors. Even jukebox cuts down the RNG. Um, gives you better movement, gives you more animations on defense. You know, for the defenders to get. So I think jukebox this year. If you're using a power back this year that doesn't get like a freight train or a wrecking ball, I think you're really missing out this year. I think, I mean, there's not many power backs even on here that don't get those things. So that goes to show you, EA must know some. Next up, we got Aaron Jones. This card might not get any hype, but he's actually pretty solid. If you fully upgrade him, 94 speed, 95 acceleration, good juke move, good COD, good break tackle, not really a great pass catcher. But um, as far as being a no ability running back, he's pretty good, like nothing crazy nothing special but can never get the job done no discount abilities do hurt the card a little bit um for that reason i love his stats but abilities run the game so i'm actually gonna move him down a little bit um but i think still think he's a low a tier he's actually a pretty solid card with good stats i'm um, actually i might actually flip i might flip this yeah this makes me feel a little bit better let's actually flip, let's do a little bit let's do this i think this mm, no, no 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 that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable that may have been, an, I almost over, actually, I think overrated that card. That makes me feel a lot more comfortable with that. Because I think Cordell Patterson's really good. And then, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, Aaron Jones, high beat here. Okay, let's talk about a card that's been in the game for a minute. But again, was it? I know he actually was in the last episode, but I still want to kind of re re revisit this card. 94 speed, 93 acceleration. Still top tier COD. Still top tier juke move. Still, everything's still top tier on this card. Even his size, he's tough to kind of tackle. Um, he just kind of moves like not next gen, but it's close. You're going to get to a next gen movement in this game. Um, for his free abilities and things like that, he does get unstoppable. Um, or sorry, clutch edition freight train, which is obviously very good as well as evasive unstoppable first one's free. So I would probably use the freight train. It's free, of course. So use the freight train X factor. Then you would just go use one of these discount abilities. Probably would go jukebox and then I would go first one free. First one free jukebox with the unstoppable for three AP. You're going to be, if you like an elusive back guy that can cut like that, guy that can move like Barry, this is one of the better Barry cards we've seen. I'm going to put Barry in front of Derrick Henry. Might be a little bit controversial, but for me, I think outside runs, Derrick Henry's kind of not too great because you kind of really got to get up and down this year to really fall forward. If you run a lot of stuff through the middle, Barry's not your guy. If you, run, if you run to the outside a lot, outside zone, stretch, pitch plays, whatever you're running in your offense, um, Barry will be your guy for that situation. You know, like cut back runs with jukebox, the you know, the first one freeze glitchy, the, the you know, freight trades glitchy. Barry Sanders, his card is still very good and has been good for what? It's only been a month, right? Um, yeah, two days in a month, a month and two days, and he's still at the top of the game right now. And next up, let's talk Ricky Williams. Five foot ten, two thirty, and here's kind of an example. I mean, yeah, he does have some elusive in his game, but again, the power of this card you don't really feel. And again, no discounted jukebox, so I just. I, I don't love it. I don't love this card. I never really like Ricky Williams cards. People do love his cards, but I, this is actually one of the, it, it's it's one of the better, it's like it's like a mid-level Ricky Williams card in my opinion. There has been good ones. This is not the greatest one. Um, they made him a pretty good pass catcher though, pretty decent. Good mix of power and speed and all that stuff. 5 foot 10, 230, but I would still go Pacheco if you want a running back with a good mix of you know elusiveness and things like that. 
Um, I, I still think Ricky, I would still put him up there at A tier. By the way, Todd Gurley, if you look at his stats, wondering why he's here, just go watch my video on him. Just go watch my video on Todd Gurley before you write a comment. As to why he's not in S tier, go write a comment. But I'll put Ricky at top of A tier. Um, to me, it could have been much better. You know, maybe something. No, it, it really, okay, I'll be honest. No, no X factors, no discounted juke pop. That's why. <laughs> Next up, we got Chris Johnson. He is actually, yeah, the fastest running back in the game right now. 96 speed with 96 acceleration, 95 COD. This card does feel like he has the speed that he had. I'll tell you that right now. You feel the speed. If you're worried about that, like a guy who I just talked about, Todd Gurley, where you don't really feel the 96 speed, Chris Johnson, he, you do feel it. He does fly pretty well. Also, no discounted X factors, or sorry, no special X factors. Does get discounted abilities like Jukebox, which is actually really good. This card's, this card's good. I, I don't think he's anything crazy, like game breaking, but still could be a problem to face. Um, I would say for sure his speed's really good, but you guys see like his power stats. They aren't great He's in pass catcher though. I would honestly maybe argue that he's Up in here. I think I would honestly argue that because even myself on a Jets theme team I would rather use Chris Johnson than, 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 than the uh, LaDainian Tomlinson card. That's just the truth of it I, I honestly really would so the, the Knicks just beat the Nuggets by 40 my goodness um, Yeah, so Chris Johnson at pretty much easy as tier. Next up, we got the out of position running back Mike Vick. Still a monstrous card. And I would even, I know it's a why, I know it's a running back tier list, but this card, if you can get, like, just getting the ball in, in, in his hands as a pass catcher, whether that's as a slot receiver, which he can definitely do. He can definitely play the slot with these routing stats in these, these kind of hands, but if you can get him in the slot, just get the ball in his hands, you know, as a pass. And this card is absolutely busted. Of course, he has the custom Mike Vick animations, the slide spin. Um, the you know the celebrations all that good stuff um so he does feel a little bit unique to other running backs in the game but he also does play really well 215 six foot so i like his weight and i think six foot like six foot's the good middle ground where you don't have that you know a guy who's too big you might feel a little clunky guy who's too small you might feel you're falling backwards too much i think six foot's a good spot where you still get a good juke animation still kind of feel like you're solid and can still push guys forward um but i think this is a really good card 90 juke move 93 cod no real power in his game but a great pass catcher as they do with the mike vick running backs cards and i didn't mean for the abilities the abilities on this card are really really good so the one problem with this mike vick card is no jukebox and you're probably thinking well you've been uh, talking about jukebox this whole time you'd be right but he does get freight train so that to me that to me covers it up freight train is glitchy so i'll go freight train energizer for free is what i was running but i've been using human joystick but and then i was like four ap's too much on a running back so i made i went back to energizer it doesn't do anything but i just hack it on because you know you know what i mean but yak him up is the main thing yak him up right here you break the first tackle after the catch no matter what if you can get him in the slot receiver in an rpo or Whatever the case is, this card is going to be broken. Even like, you know, you run a bunch of, you know, maybe it's not your design, right? You, you run a bunch of down the field stuff. It gets bagged up. Your check down's open. You throw it to Mike Vick. He, he's able to break that first tackle from the, whoever was he was on and then run the, run the ball for 30 yards. An open field, this card's a headache to try to stop. So Mike Vick, I'm going to put him at the top of S tier. Uh, if you want more, I will say, if you want more of a traditional running back, like you're not really throwing the ball out of the backfield to him, Barry's probably better. I would say that right now. Barry's probably better if you're looking for more of a traditional. I'm going to hand the ball off to running back. If you like getting cute with the pass game and like scheming this guy, I mean, he, he's just absolutely broken. So I would pretty much say Barry Mike Vick pretty interchangeable depending on play style and preference. So there you go. And yeah, I wonder how this will be received. But finally, last but not least, the best running back, in my opinion, right now in Madden 24, Peyton Hillis. It is Peyton Hillis, in my opinion. Six foot one, 240. So he does, he almost feels like if you... If you used Bo Jackson earlier this year, you know what I'm talking about. His juke move is perfect. It clears just the amount of di just the amount of ground where it feels perfect. Like you're able to kind of cut back the you know the, the outside zones or the stretch plays and get back up the sideline. Like it's perfect. Not to mention he's two foot two, not not two foot. He's 240 pounds, so you're gonna feel that little punch that Peyton Hillis has. I'm 91 COD, 91 juke move, 96 trucking, 95 break tackle. Good hands out of the backfield. Good carrying. It's all there. The, the main thing about this card is his build though. Six foot one, 240, it's literally perfect. Also, the abilities, they're not bad either. Um, I would go with the Angry Runs Collector's Edition. This is this is much better than Derrick Henry. So with this Derrick Henry card, you actually have to run the ball in for two touchdowns to make it come back, which is a pain in the ass because you know, two touchdowns running the ball, it won't, maybe won't happen to the third quarter, fourth quarter, and maybe your guy, maybe your group you're playing may have already quit, you know, whatever the case is. Payton Hillis, all you need is eight 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, eight one-yard carries, and it comes right back. It turns right back on. It is glitchy. Not to mention, he also does get Wrecking Ball Clutch Edition, which is also very, very good, too. Um, the only thing that I think would make these, like, I think, like, Mike Vick and Payne Hillis not getting a discounted uh, jukebox slot, if we do start seeing some special X Factor, which we could with, like, you know, Flashback Cordero Patterson, or not Flashback, uh, a.k.a. Vault Cordero Patterson, or a.k.a. Vault, you know, I don't know, uh, Quad Father, or what was it, Gusta Bus? If they gave one of those guys discounted jukebox with these special X Factors, like a Freight Train or, or an Angry Runs, it, like, the, that's how these cards are going to get dethroned to me. Even a 96 speed guy who, you know, got two speed over paying Hillis, which some people might freak out about that, but I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like speed this year isn't as like 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 to me 93 speed 96 speed you don't feel it as much i think i think a lot of the receivers getting behind your corners is also like a press release situation too i don't know I, just from using especially you playing on the like squad team as i have been doing recently a lot of those guys are just really slow and they still bag and they still move fast i don't know what it is I, and apparently there actually is a slider where you can like ea can actually adjust where it makes speed feel like it matters more like like the speed differential i think is a thing or something like that correct me if i'm wrong something like that it, it, hopefully what i'm saying even makes sense but um, either way that is gonna do it for today's video my top five running backs right now in madden 24 number one Payne hillis number two mike vick or barry sanders number three mike vick or barry sanders and i got derrick henry and number five i got chris johnson and then at 6, A, B, and C, I would put Isaiah, James Cook, and LaDainian Tomlinson. There you go. That's the running back. Teal, drop a comment down below. Who's your running back right now? Also, let me know. Who's too high? Who's too low? Let me know. And, of course, as always, I will see you boys in the next one.